Hey, this is Pastor Rick. Glad you're with me today. We are in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Here's what the Bible says. It's a really cool verse. It'll help you think a lot better. Watch what it says. I can do this through him who gives me strength. The King James says it this way. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. I can do everything I need to do. Everything that needs to be dealt with in my life, whether it be difficulty, hardships, it doesn't matter. Let me take you down further in the verse. This is Philippians chapter 4, chapter um, 2, verse 11. He says, or chapter 4, I can really get this right if I think about it. Chapter 4, skip all the way down to verse 11. He says, I am not saying this because I am in need. For I've learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know how or what it is to be in need. I know what it's like to, to have plenty. I have learned the, the, the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether I'm well fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want, I can do all things through Christ. What I love about the verse is, is the balance in it. Paul says, I understand the importance of thinking right when it comes to circumstances, which feeds into this whole conversation we're having now on what I call stagnant thinking. Paul is not stagnant. Paul understands that life progresses and moves and changes. Sometimes you want your life to be simple. Sometimes you want everything to work out without any challenge. But Paul says that's not how it is. I've learned that whatever I'm faced with, whatever I have to deal with, children, kids, life, disappointments, up, down, financial issues, no financial issues, victory, poverty, it doesn't matter what comes my way. I can do all things through Christ. Now, one of the, the lessons I have learned in my life is if I'm not careful, I'll get stagnant and I'll get stuck in one place and I will not focus on what I can do. And so I want you to think about the first part of that verse, I can. And I want you to think about what you have been saying you can't do. I want you to focus on what you can do. And I want you to understand the power of that. There's something profoundly different in your life when you get up in the morning and say, I can. I can deal with this. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I can do this. When you say I can finish school, when you say I can overcome in this marriage, when you say it, when you both say it, it's amazing. When the pastor and the members join together and say, we can. We can give. We can raise money. We can build the buildings. We can, we can touch people. We can travel overseas. We can do missions work. Is when you say you can, you can. When you say you can get in shape, try. Come on, try. Walk a little bit. Your life can be different today if you just say I can. So don't be stagnant in your thinking. Don't get stuck in one place where you can't move. I want you to get up and try. So let's pray. Father, let there rise in them a hunger to try, to get up and make it happen and not be afraid. And we give you all the praise and glory in Jesus' name. My name is Pastor Ricky Temple. I pastor Overcoming by Faith in Savannah, Georgia. I hope this gives you a little sharpening for your day. Go be sharp. See you next time. Bye-bye.